are welcomed. You are very, very welcomed to the Goat Farm. I'm your host, Westside JJ. To my far right, we got Zo. What up, though? Wherever, um, we don't know where Zed is right now, but at least we got Zo. <laughs> That's all that really matters. Freeway Zo. And That's our okay. guest today, legends in the city at a young age. The young legends, the young OGs. For sure. Y'all can introduce yourself. Y'all might know who DJ Alex is already from episode 11. Hey, yo, what's going on? On the screen. But Liddy Mike's here today, y'all. Uh, Liddy Tunes uh, in the building. Type shit. Type shit. Okay, so we got the Gen Zers in the building. Whole yeah. different generation. Y'all about two generations down, probably about three for me. For sure. Two and, you and a half, two and a half. What, what, what do y'all want for y'all people, man? Out the city, y'all age, y'all group. What do y'all want? What is what? What are your goals, not for yourself, but... Ways that you can help affect others. Like what? What? What are the Gen Zers? No, nah, not what? Are, what is Liddy Tunes? Where? Where are you trying to improve the city as far as for your people? I'll let you know. You let me know. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably just say definitely. Um, I know one of the biggest things that we started Liddy Tunes off of was just the look that Black people, African Americans, had in the city. You feel me? Like all we really had was house parties, thug. You know what I mean? Like. That's just always been a look on our community, you know what I mean? So when we did start Liddy Tunes, I know the number one we wanted to do was be able to like provide a safe space for like people that's just like us, you know what I mean? Who grew up like us to be able to come, have a good time, and like make it home, you know? That's probably the first thing that I know we built Liddy Tunes off of. You got anything? Yeah, uh, you know, really highlighting on a safety point. But it was just also um, being able to go to the club and kind of hearing the music you kind of at the same time grew up with, you know, like a big problem and a big like complaint I heard early on on DJing is like, oh, when I go to the club, all I hear is maybe just Spanish music or the EDM or, or the you, know, the, you know, the same mixes every For week. Sure. So us being able to create a platform, where we can kind of change that narrative, at least when you go to the club and we throw events was like a super big thing too with Liddy Tunes. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Zed has joined us. Yeah. What's up with my boys? What's up with that? Zed Triller, the Black Gorilla. What's up with man? I ain't seen y'all in a minute. Leave that nigga hanging. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up? Hey. You really came with it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the glass. You know what I'm saying? Shiesty. Because Yeah. Niggas got a football practice right now. What's up, Zed? That nigga's coach. What's up with y'all, my boys? Chilling. Y'all been on the tear lately, dog. Yeah, a little bit. A little right. bit, bro. Y'all been on the tear lately. I wouldn't even man. say lately. I wouldn't even say lately. Well, I mean, like, y'all been on the run. Y'all been having to run, like, like Brady and Lil Wayne, man, and they hate they, bro. Y'all been, <laughs> been doing y'all thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate you, bro. Yeah, y'all been, been doing y'all this thing. <laughs> if y'all don't know already, Liddy Tunes, the hottest party duo in the city, the Young Bulls, DJ, oh, yeah, right. Entertain. Oh, yeah, California. Yeah, up and down California, California but them in yeah. up and down Cali. Yeah, it's not sure. a not just a local act. Yeah, the show no, no, the no, show no, is on the road. Sure. So if if y'all not familiar, so Zay, what 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 you where you where where are you where were you where were you? <laughs> man, man. bro, it's been it's been a hectic day. You know, I'm trying to get everything situated before my uh, departure. So uh, yeah, but um, yeah, <laughs> what's up with the ski mask? Like you can I'm in, it. I'm in, uh, I'm in yeah. rebuild mode right now. So but you got like a full hawk or something? No, 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 no. Man, my barber just been, you know. You been butchering. Uh, man, bro, he been in my A, so you know, right now I'm a little grimy. Right now I couldn't come, you know, bless y'all. So I, you know, I just came ski masked up real quick, you know. Yeah, uh, you couldn't find a black one? Nah, you know, <laughs> I, I couldn't find my black one on my red one, but you know, okay. my orange one just stuck out. So I was like, let me grab that. Yeah, that, that shit is definitely you know, sticking out. <laughs> you know, and plus it's already been on the. On the show before, oh, so okay. uh, yeah. So we call you Zed or Alonzo because last time you we called you Alonzo. Yeah, no, no, it's good. It's Zed today. It's Zed I, today. I, I, I know we're supposed to be interviewing Lil Tunes, but I really want to interview Zed and JJ because, <laughs> like, this is our first episode in like six months. Like, we ain't did shit. Yeah. Like, they've been out, man, partying, 
Like, what the they fuck? they got y'all didn't make them famous now, Bro. and sh- they didn't blew up on now, me. Now I thought JJ was gonna start another. I thought we was just like the first three seasons, and he yeah. was just bring, like he bringing them in to usher us out. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey, shit, yeah, that's yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, they might as well. They was on time. Hey, shit, <laughs> they was on time. You was late out doing you know, whatever J- you do. You know, Zone, he gotta go run here and there. Hey man, shit, but I made it. I'm on time. Just come into town. <laughs> nah, nah. Hey. Nah, really. Let, let me, let's talk about more of that though. West Side JJ, if y'all don't know. Oh well, yeah. yeah my, let's, let's talk see. about it. Let's, my, let's get I'm gonna just talk a little bit about it. it. I'm gonna. I'm here with my co-host right now. <laughs> <laughs> Our special guest JJ <laughs> is Zed Triller, the Black Gorilla, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They just came in out of fucking nowhere. Let's yeah. go. So the, the 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 whole the whole point of that channel. It's just not the crowd, our original channel. Mm, okay. Our original channel was entitled Pyramid Prestige. Mm. So when people type the goat form in, actual goat forms mm. come up on YouTube. Right, so right, it's right. very hard to locate the podcast. Right. So I simplified it for the for the audience. Mm, okay. And now the channel was the Goat Farm Podcast. Okay, so if it. you put the Goat Farm podcast in, it'll pop up. It'll pop up. Oh, the okay. channel as well as the playlist where okay. all the episodes on, okay. are for. Are for. So I did, catalog, yeah. I did that for the audience. Okay. For myself, I didn't. I didn't like the way the channel looked. Where you see the Goat Farm, then you see the Volume Vault, then you see <laughs> this and that hosted by. It looks scattered. Like okay. it, originally, that's how I wanted it. Yeah. But I figured out that doesn't work. Okay, so got you. I, I, I was thinking too far ahead. Okay. So I basically yeah. run it back in. And then okay. just improved it all okay. across the all board. Right. So, so if you haven't, ahead. if you haven't subscribed already, West Side JJ. That's West, one word. Side, two J's. Capital. Okay. Okay. So w- w- l- let me ask y'all too. What's been up with the hiatus? Like y'all been like like partying. Y'all been on some right. other shit. Yeah. Like y'all been at the Liddy Two's functions and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, I, I, it's I, it's I our y- fault. Yeah, I seen y'all. Y'all been at the rooftop a couple times. JJ was there. JJ was there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've and been when, to the rooftop and a when few is times. the rooftop, y'all? Let's go ahead and plug that in real quick. Right. They can catch y'all Sundays uh, or be, uh, last Sunday of September. Oh God. Yeah, we doing it once a month now. Oh, once so, a month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So all the last Sundays. Yeah, be all last Sundays. Can we dive into why did the rooftop stop? Or y'all just want to? We, 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 we can dive into it. We can dive into it. Yeah, let, let, can, we, can we know what happened? Because it was very like, like yeah, it was okay, a like, chill. It was, cool. I ain't gonna lie. it was abrupt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was. It was chill. So uh, is it like between y'all and like some other? So basically, um, the place that the rooftop is located at mm-hmm. it is um, residents that stay there. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Right, right above. And, uh, right above. Okay. And, you know, obviously, um, we brought a very. African American, urban, black, urban. very urban. Urban. Yeah, urban. That's the word I'm looking that's for. The very urban. Like. Brought a very urban crowd into the building. You okay. Know? And most of the residents that stayed there uh-huh. were unurban. Oh, okay. You got know? you. Uh-huh. Got you. Got and you. So, um, I, I think it was just a comfortability thing. You know, mm. as they're growing up, they didn't feel comfortable. Um, we're having a party on the rooftop. Well, it was only on the it's second it, floor. Yeah. So uh, that, that, that's how it started. The, yeah. But basically, well, let's just, get into the nitty gritty. We, 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 we. Am I sugarcoating? You're sugarcoating. Yeah, okay, no, we can go over there. I was sugarcoating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. Hey, let's get... I'm not trying to throw nobody underneath the bus and, you know, be politically correct, but let's just get all the way real with it because this is something that we have to keep deal with every time we do something as far as us being urban. You know what I mean? That's a lot of us get these problems, but us urban people get these problems. That's like with the art hop shit, you know? Well, hold on, because I want to dive into that too. But let's go Let's go. Let's stay on track. Right. So... Pretty much, it started with our events. It was going pretty good. Mm-hmm. I think we did about two or three. About three. Three. Mm-hmm. And then we got a complaint from the landlord saying right. that he was getting complaints from the residents that, oh, why am I living on top of a club every Sunday? It's too noisy. And granted, I guess it was, you know, at right. first when we're doing it, like we, we do clubs, so we make it a club atmosphere. Right, right. right. So we made adjustments. We lowered the volume down. Uh-huh. We tried to do one speaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, we wanted to speaker outside, kept it very low, but... The, and the WAP complaint turned into another complaint. Then it's, I'm not feeling comfortable with, literally, in words, it said they're not comfortable with the demographic of people who are coming in. Oh. Uh, they didn't like, you know, people smoke outside. We stopped people from smoking outside. Mm-hmm. It was just like, it was complaint, complaint after, after complaint. complaint. Every complaint, complaint, y'all was trying to accommodate them. And we try to yeah, accommodate, exactly. you know, yeah, like right, at the end right. of the day, it's like, we have to work with you because, of course, you live there, you know? Right, so right, for sure. The more we try to accommodate, the more complaints come in. And it came right. to a thing where it's like, the landlord wanted to sue the bar owner if we didn't stop. Mm. Or not even not even Sue, sorry, they want to terminate his lease. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. So it's like, all right, we're not gonna Yeah, take it. We, yeah, we're not gonna take we don't wanna be responsible for you losing, losing your whole bar. bar. You know, right. it's more, yeah. you know, more important fish or fry. So 
we ended up stopping. That's why it was so abrupt, and we just had to shut it down. Damn. How, did, how are you even able to do every last Saturday or last Sunday? Um, just kind of a workout. Um, he yeah. had a conversation because obviously every Sunday was a hit. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, yeah, money talks. bar is basically only accommodated. Like, if I'm in Tower District, my first place I'm not thinking to go is... Quail State, the rooftop, you know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. Regardless of how Kude drinks is, whatever. Right. Um, so he kind of just expressed to the landlord, like, look, this event is basically paying my monthly. Right. You know? Be careful just because they hear it. Oh, be careful because this event is paying my monthly. You know what I mean? Right, right. So it's like, can you give me something? Even one event, like right. us doing one event there pays his monthly. Right, right, right. That so makes he's sense. like, you know what I mean? Saying, like, can you for at least give afloat. me one? For me to stay afloat, can right. you give me once a month? That's what mm. he asked. And right. Obviously, mm. the landlord. Gave him once a month, so that's kind of how we finagled it in there. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, to me, it just I feel like Fresno and me dealing with some of the people I deal with in Fresno and a lot mm-hmm. of businesses that we know and a lot of owners that we know. I feel like Fresno is so old school, stuck in this old, yeah. like you know, old ways that they don't want to do nothing new, right? That's kind of like with us, like we kind of got blessed with a club one when even when we do the domino tournament, mm-hmm. they kind of like you know, they 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 cool with us and stuff like that, but it's kind of like, hey, you know, make sure that no one's doing this, mm-hmm. and make no. sure they're not doing that. Like, we're all grown ups, we know that like, you know, not to right, do this no. and do that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, we'd be tight on you know, everybody who come, like, stay inside, no drinking, in and out, you know. Mm-hmm. But it seems like everybody else can kind of do whatever they want to do, right? But mm-hmm. with us, it's like, hey, y'all, like, we got the you know. They they, they want to watch every single move that we make up there. You get what I mean? So that's what a, that's that's like the bad part. But the good part is like we showing them that we can do it, and y'all showing them that we can do it with no problem. So that's why I'm saying kudos to y'all. My hat goes off to y'all. But you know we got to keep you know striding and keep you know. When I go to somebody event, I don't want to start no shit because I don't want them to come to our shit and start nothing. You know what I mean? Right, so it's exactly. like an all respect thing. Mm-hmm. You know, hopefully we can kind of change the way how people look at us. Even us being young, and then y'all being younger than us. You get what I mean? So, and we bust down the doors, y'all busting down the doors. We just helping the next people coming in either. So, y'all keep doing y'all thing. And then when y'all go to the rooftop, man, show them boys some respect up, man. And, you know, just keep doing y'all thing, man, because it's something for all of us to do. You get what I mean? They they ain't charging y'all. Pretty much everything in Fresno is free to go to, really. You get what I mean? So, man, y'all show them boys some respect, man, up there, man. They trying to make a living, too. Not that YG concert. Was y'all behind? <laughs> was y'all behind that? The YG one? Yeah. Nah, nah, that wasn't us. YG. Yeah, YG, YG yeah, came. That encore, right? That encore? Yeah, encore. Nah, 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 we weren't there. We didn't do that. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Uh, encore, what? encore. They were charging for that, yeah. Yeah, we ex encore out. Yeah, encore is definitely they off the map. They exed out the game. Yeah, what? for sure. All right, so yeah, Zed, you know, as, as, as avid art hop visitors that we are, oh um, man, um, yeah. seven seven years in art hop has been a staple in our social activity list. Sure. From cockies to different vendors to, to after parties uh, at the Rose. We didn't podcast. We didn't shot at the. Uh, we shot a podcast at Art yeah, Hop yeah, at the Chachansi. Yeah, DJ Alex like really yeah. like put us on. Yep, yep, for sure. That day, DJ Alex and um, Liddy Mike came and drowned us out. Our audio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> they yeah, came, they brought crazy. those speakers they were talking about Ooh, earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. At that Quail uh, You know yeah, what? We had we had perfect real estate in front of the bar, but we yeah. had to move I down. I was your first person to throw a complaint. <laughs> no, nah, but, nah, but to to go on what you touching on with the art hop situation, man. When I found out, I was like, damn, really? Because it's such a it's such a big thing, especially for entrepreneurs in Fresno. Yeah. For sure. Like you know, people rather be like DJs want to set up, people with the food, people with clothing. Uh, any anybody that's in that entrepreneur realm, mm-hmm. you can go there and set up. Right. And and it was a lot of a lot of urban people that was out there. A lot of urban uh, entrepreneurs. Yeah, minorities for sure. I haven't I haven't seen I haven't witnessed nothing negative out there. Me neither. But Me neither. it it happens. Mm. I mean, things happen. Okay, but I don't think you could the the cons out outweigh the pros and it, it man yeah. our home was such a beautiful thing and for them yeah, to take man. that away from the people is yeah. it's crazy and, and you I, give it's it, really sad too yeah, yeah you give it it's, it's giving so much business and so much life to downtown which yeah. 
Which I I feel like if I'm a if I'm a business owner, hey no, don't stop this. Yeah. Because yeah. it's getting it's getting people to come down here yeah. and see, oh shit, I didn't even know it was a brewery down here. For oh, sure. Oh, people like cockies, uh, when they have their thing, the rolls when they have their thing. Yeah. And neither and neither um even other venues that have things down there. Man, so much stuff they come out of at an art hop on just that one day, I just the city of Fresno really dropped the ball on that one. What's happening with your head? Yeah, my opinion is it's like we're we're a farm ran a farm ran community. Yeah, for sure. And farmers don't care about no city life. Yeah, real. Like imagine imagine like a high end farmer coming downtown. He's he's trying to go and get a package from somewhere, and he runs into thousands of people who don't look like him. <laughs> and he's and he's late. I'm just saying, and he's That's late. That's how it works, though. So he this high ranking farmer funds a lot of politicians. We're mm-hmm. farm ran. Mm-hmm. Like our biggest money grab is. Farming, right? Absolutely. So farmers, if they don't agree, that's just the way it is. So I, I that that way, the city will never thrive. Like we'll never have a city vibe in Fresno. It'll never be that. It's never right. been that. Is yeah. we've had the potential to do this probably before even Let we it. were born. Let so it. farm farmers are stopping that from happening because they Let got the money. This. The money's gonna run the they city. They don't stop farmer market in River Park. Because it's farmer market. market. It's but, farmer no, market. Wait, 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 wait. It's, no, no, no. <laughs> it's farmer's market. No, no, no. Let me say this. Everybody, all those food trucks, they ain't farmers. But what I'm saying is... But you bro, said but you said farmer what I, market. Okay, let me say this. I think they pay for them slots, too. They pay for those slots. What I'm saying is, the reason why I feel like it got shut down is the city ain't profiting it off of it. For sure. Yeah, that's the that's that's, 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 that's that's number that's one reason. They're not, they not profiting off of it, and it's an urban look. Yeah. You can't sit here and tell me, oh, because of trash, hey, we got to stop this. Or any other, I anything they, said they it was said. because of the heat, right? Oh, yeah, that, that, that was one of the That excuses. was one of the heat. That, that was the excuse why they stopped it that first month, but then uh, why they decided to get rid of it was funding and all that, getting a permit. I'm just saying, yeah. I, I just feel like it's a bunch so, of malarkey. So the reason why they stopped it is because of the heat, and you said the funding, and mm-hmm. then you're saying trash. They, they said it was ain't, don't we money. pay tax dollars for people to come and clean up? They clean up uh, in downtown already. Let me already? say this: <laughs> downtown ain't never gonna be clean. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's a whole bunch. What of I'm saying is, man, it saying. just to me, I really feel like the city. Hey, look, they not profiting off of it. It's yeah. not like oh, people paying for the meters during right. the day. But I, I just feel like man, the city really dropped the ball on that. And to give, we should be able to allow the entrepreneurs. To, to do their thing out there, right, man. I, I, like I said, it's more pros than cons, and I really hate that they took that away. I seen that they made something else called Why Not Wednesday or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm not sure what what's that all entail, but... No, I, I just, a little gentrified version. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I feel like mm-hmm. it's a bunch of BS, man, and yeah. uh, they, they really took, a, took away something that was really... really positive for the city. For sure. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and really helped people, because I know people... Uh, from all the way from uh, John that set up there, uh, JG where Yummy J's. Yeah. A lot of people set up they they booths, and it it gives people something to do. Man, I just I don't understand that. Especially oh, it's too hot. Well, it's gonna cool down. Yeah. Man, not just but that. It's been, it's been hot. It's all been the years hot they've for done the last it. <laughs> since I've been years. alive. Yeah. So when, when did the heat like? Oh, this year was hotter than last year. Like I don't understand that. Yeah. I but, think I think bottom line when it comes to like government funding, if they can't find a way. To get a dollar Profit. or some, and right. they see That's the potential the where it is, it's like they're gonna. Right. They don't need. It. They, they don't need you really think about it on, from a government aspect, they didn't do anything but add on problems to their plate. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Com- compared to the amount of police that had to be stationed right out there, that's another like, reason too. Know, Shit, we paying them all to do their job I mean, anyway. But, they but those were all overtime though. Yeah. Those are overtime hours. Shit, they well they ain't solving no damn cases. What are they doing? Facts. Shit, come out here. Facts. I, I, I honestly think you don't listen. And I, like I said, I know it's two sides to this. I, I'm pretty sure it's a side that the city probably, oh, this is our view, our vantage point. Well, y'all come to the golf farm and explain. Uh, come to the go farm and explain it then. Well, what I'm just saying <laughs> right. is, For sure. like I said, I think the pros outweigh the cons. Every other city has it. No, every sure. every other and on a major scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is 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 really small, but. For the businesses downtown that don't get a lot of traffic mm-hmm. and that don't get a lot of a pub a publicity, that's yeah, that's right. this is yeah. Man, I wouldn't want to stop. That. No, keep this shit going. Oh my God. If yeah. they don't come to my store uh, today, down. they'll at least they'll see it in the back of their head. Like, oh, okay, I'll just yeah. plug. 
I, I, literally, just, literally, Art Hop is probably one of the biggest and best networking events in Fresno. Oh, yeah, I'm for sorry. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Only, uh, only networking only. event. Yeah, it, like it was like the exposure you the can only, get, yeah. the people you can meet. Like it's like to top tier to none. Yeah, yeah. Like, for sure. Yeah. Hands yeah. down, we've been going to this shit since this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Man, I live downtown. All the man, we used to walk outside the garage. Yeah. Just, I mean, you you can pick your poison, yeah, man. Is it is it's, it's really a. a I, I really because y'all had a party thing down here too, right? All right at, at the salon, then y'all oh, started. Yeah, 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 we did one over there. Yeah, we only okay. did one though. Oh, one. Oh, one. yeah, we did one there. Yeah, yeah. No, y'all did two. Nah, this one. It was one. Other one was another dude. I know what you're talking. Oh, okay, about. okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought y'all did two there. Okay. Yeah, right, there's yeah. a lot of good that come out of this, and like I said, a lot of businesses get fed off of art hop. Oh yeah, and Easily. it just it just creates this whole thing, like Correct. you know. Um, okay, we'll go to Cockies, we'll go here, we'll go dancing, For sure. we'll go drinking at this bar. And you know, it just it goes down the tower. Some people come out here to the brewery back over this way. I, I to me, I just yeah. don't understand how you why why would you take something away that the people are are benefiting off of? Yeah. And I, it just it just doesn't make sense and this just goes yeah. into what means. But we can have a low rider event. No, they, ki- they ki- no, they took that away. Oh, that shit! What after two murders? Uh, I'm just telling murders. you. That <laughs> shit. They, they took they took the low. Uh, I was talking to. Uh, no, Marcus. they just had this damn car show last Sunday here. Let me just tell you, it ain't it ain't like how it used to be. It ain't like where shit. It's a, you, uh, you know, I'll be downtown. No, no, I, I oh. know you do, but what I'm telling you is, it's not like where it's. Oh yeah, Sundays is uh, cruise night or whatever. They ain't supposed to be doing that shit. Mm. They ain't stopped this shit. Well, I'm. And they didn't have murders, all type of shit, fights, killing, stabbings, all type of shit. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's just really sad that that we oh. can't have shit in the city. One minute, y'all. I really want to um, say to the family that the girl that got killed at the Rite Aid parking lot. Yeah, oh yeah. Our prayers is with you guys. I just sure. I, I felt really bad for what happened that took place there. Young girl, nineteen years old, man. Nineteen. And we got to see the rest of her life, so. We're praying for you guys, and we hope that situation get taken care of real soon with y'all. So, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, go ahead on a lighter note. But yeah, that was on my back of my mind, heavy. Mm-hmm. At Nineteen years old, man. Oh, yeah. Losing your life. Man, they already arrested that. Yeah, they already, already did. Yeah, they, they arrested. arrested. They arrested. Yeah. So, and then, that, I don't know if y'all know the backstory. I mean, I don't know nah, if you want to switch topics. Nah, we, but, we ain't gonna talk too much. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I just I had to say that, man. That's, <laughs> that, Rest that, in peace to Shorty. Yeah, Rest in peace. So, as Gen Zers, I seen the fight. On, on the internet, but the the fight before, you know, the tragic incident, mm-hmm. like somebody recorded it. Yeah, <laughs> growing growing up in that uh, generation, because that's been going on probably since y'all was in middle school, maybe elementary, where everything just touches the web. Like mm-hmm. no matter what, like people got the cameras ready. Right. You feel me? Like how how is it? Because we didn't grow up in that time where we can do anything. It ain't. No one has a camera. Yeah. If someone had a camera, that's that's super rare to be walking around with a big ass camcorder. Yeah. You feel me? Hella hella uncomfortable. But now everyone has a camera. Yeah. In 4K, like we all have 4K cameras in our pocket, which is ridiculous. Right. Mm. Like, how is it growing up in a generation where like, damn near anything that goes on is probably being documented and has a, a chance of reaching the internet? I mean, that that's such a love hate relationship. You know, good and bad. You know, it can, it can help you and it can, you know, ruin you. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think once people realize the magnitude of how you know information can be accessible and spread, and then the profit that can be made. I think a lot of people record shit right now for the you know the views. What can lead from the views? Like, mm-hmm. you know, if I have this many followers, I have this many views, and I have right. a chance to be popular, I have a chance to get paid from being popular. So I think that's why people are so trigger happy with having their phones right. out right. and posting on Facebook. Like, you know, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. It's like, you know, one, one right answer to really explain uh, that. Yeah. Man, let me, let me ask y'all something because y'all been, y'all younger, but mm-hmm. my sons put me on to uh, Kai Se- Kai Sinat. Kai Sinat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Speed. Mm-hmm. Bro, and I, they got it. I mean, they they got shorts on, but they like showering together. Oh yeah, so that. like, so I was like, freaky zans. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's that's I mean, crazy. I mean, like, they get the views though, like, right? That's what I mean, I'm saying. Yeah, it's, like, it's and then I see the other stuff with a dude. He like going bad neighborhoods with a PS5 box. Right, I've been seeing that too. And I'm like, bro, like you doing this for likes? Like, 
They're not doing it for life. Man, I them think dudes doing it, it for cake. They're, they're doing, doing it for, they're doing it for money. No, no, no. Okay, them, but I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like people do things on social media, and it's kind of like, bro, I would not do that. Yeah. But it's just what, like, bro, I, I get mean, views, I get clicks, I get the money. Like, bro. It, it's 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 different nowadays, though, too. Yeah. Because I mean, the, I thought what that that do creates a bigger problem. It's kind of like, oh, more people are tuned into it, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like right now, that's what they're living for. Oh, yeah. You gotta understand, we, you know, we come from the area where it's like, shit, you really don't want to be on camera. Mm-hmm. You get what yeah. I mean? You kind of want to do stuff off camera. Yeah. You get what I mean? Then more so, it's like, like you said, it's good and then it's bad. Mm-hmm. Shit, you get. I, I, if I die or you know something bad happens, it's like I get views, I get money, then I get an interview shit, from somebody else. If I die, if I die yeah. shit, shit, I'm just bro. saying your family gonna get the money. But you, you <laughs> get what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, I'm just saying chat. though, you, you're, yeah. they, they want to be immortal, they want to be famous. Oh, yeah. That's what we were talking about earlier. That fame, you know, some yeah, people yeah. are chasing fame. Oh, yeah. Shit, I'm ready for a viral moment right now. Shit, a uh-huh. million dollars will sign take, right it now. It literally take one. You feel bro, me? It just it take one little thirty second clip, ten second clip. Change you're viral, life. you shit. So you, you get money. The, this dude got a clear, like a see through. I seen it. I, I seen it. And got fake money in it, and then like just going. I like, seen to, it. Shit. Nigga, what would you? That's what I'm saying. You know the fame, shit. Oh, God, Man, trying to he he trying to get some bread. Yeah, bro, shit. My, he doing the same thing we doing. You think we doing this YouTube for free? I know. <laughs> I'm used to holler at us, but like. And what line do you say? Like, Ain't no like, fucking line. Didn't I just there, show there's you? No if you're willing to go to a neighborhood, get beat up. No you see lines. one with the dude. He be like, he walk past people like, oh, what's up, fool? Oh God, like, you feel yeah. oh, me? You feel yeah. me? Shit, you who you like? Come on, shit, you doing that shit in Fresno? You get your ass popped. To, I, trying to be funny. One nigga you did that to a nigga in Oakland. Yeah. And this, they start shooting. They start shooting. <laughs> he said, that's a pregnancy prank. Well, don't, we don't play like that but in they, East Oakland. But yeah, follow they, me on YouTube and I said. But yeah. they do oh, like I a skit. That, too. I that was probably like too. a skit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Was that a lot of He wasn't a guest. He was in the neighborhood. He was in the neighborhood. A lot yeah. of shit be skits too, though. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good skit. That's, that's a good yeah, skit. A Got me. JJ, I don't think this one was a skit. This, this might have been a skit. No, yeah, this nigga you. literally. St- it might have been. Man. I think for me though, it's dope. I actually yeah. really do like it. If I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I fuck with it too. I think um, it really does put like, at least for me, I'm the type of person you feel me like, bro. I do a lot of outlandish shit. Like, oh, okay. oh yeah, you, I, I, he he went viral. Yeah, he's a for viral. TikTok, nigga. He's went viral a few I went times. Viral a lot. Yeah, 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 for the TikTok yeah. shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. 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 yeah, I just know they were talking about the the dancing shit. Yeah, okay. Real shit. Same. Time to go for it. Where at? Where at TikTok? Uh huh. On TikTok. Uh huh. You talking about Miami, right? Nah, nah, nah. It was. I see him in Miami. I did a dance, bro. Um. Right didn't you dance like in club. traffic somewhere? I did. I did. Yeah, that. I was in Miami. Miami. That didn't go that viral. One, that did go viral. That okay. one had eight hundred thousand. That's but viral enough. I was yeah. um, right before I went out to the club, did a dance, got faded, came back, and did a dance drunk and put them side by side, oh, yeah. said, drunk and sober. And that mug got seven million views. Oh, no <laughs> shit yeah. on TikTok, huh? Just on just on bullshit. You man. monetized? Well, <laughs> been monetized. Been monetized. But I don't oh, so, really, honestly, so, that shit. That's another conversation. Can we explain yeah. monetize real quick? Like real brief That's for when people who don't you know. You get paid for yeah. your yeah. content. Yeah. Yeah. It takes some time and people that didn't know. It definitely <laughs> takes like yeah. some takes viral a lot shit. Of time. Takes a lot like of time. this little fifty K probably ain't gonna do it for you. Like he said, seven M's, we we talking. Yeah. We're talking. But it's gonna take some another seven, another some more M's. Yeah. A couple twos. You gotta get yeah, <laughs> you gotta get just yeah. eight hundred is good. Mm-hmm. Like if you monetize eight hundred solid, I'm I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's 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 a chip. So is your TikTok like, is it monetized? Mm-hmm. Both oh. of them. Oh, okay. So this nigga got, said both two, of them. Got two yeah, of them. I got one TikTok with 54K and then another one with 16K. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Damn, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. I just don't, I, I don't know. It's just too much for me. I don't even post on them now, though. Yeah, we're going to give you, know, you $10. Was, it, was he, it pressure? He turned into Liddy. Is it pressure? Nah, man. Um... It's like you feel like, damn, I got seven million one time. I gotta get at least yeah, two hundred thousand. Honestly, I'm the type of nigga I just don't give a fuck. Like I really do live my life uh, super peaceful, like you know. And it's like if I don't want to do it, I'm not gonna do it. Like, I got a story too. I'm gonna tell. We we ain't gonna talk about that now because I want to keep this conversation. But I got a story about his his peace. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about <laughs> but, that. But I, uh, exactly what he talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just gonna say though, you feel me? Like I like this shit. Like yeah. I like the cameras. I like all of it. Yeah. Me, I'm just uh, some people that don't. It's a lot of people who don't like it, but me, I like it just because oh, like I it. genuinely am myself. Like, damn, let me stop doing that. Yeah. I genuinely am myself. 
on camera, off camera. This yeah, nigga yeah. tell you the same way I act around y'all is the same way I act around my blood mom, my blood yeah. grandma. Like, right, right, right. right. Like, That's how Zed is. Like, I'm telling you, same exact shit. Like, I don't change at all. So, for me, whether you got a camera out or you don't, it doesn't really hurt me. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I'm a still dude. Would you I say you're like a free spirit? For sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. very, 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 very free spirit. Yeah, okay, sure. yeah, that's dope yeah, like because uh, before I, I think sure. before I really met you, I seen, I seen uh the viral YouTube. Uh-huh. I think you was doing what's that song dance the called? The Smees. Yeah, yeah, that what's one that? got like the Smees because I was I was looking at that's a, the you, Bay Area dance. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That. I was looking at a camera of somebody who does photography, and then he had a YouTube I think, uh-huh. I and then you. I you know went down a rabbit hole and I ran into that video. And then I, before I met Alex, I watched the, uh, I don't know if you in it too, but the, what is it? The 20 versus 10, the balloon shit. I am in it. Oh, uh, yeah. The balloon uh-huh. shit. So I'm like, oh, these niggas need to do content. Uh-huh. So <laughs> part, part of me doing this is to motivate younger people to do content. Because like I said, y'all was in middle school during Instagram's creation. Yeah. I'm assuming mm-hmm. our elementary maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah. So y'all grew up in it. It's like if Larry, Bro- Larry Bird grew up with a three-pointer, he would have yeah. shot more threes. For sure. Facts. You feel me? Yeah. And he would be regarded maybe as the best, the best. shooter. Uh-huh. But now you look at his three-point total, he looks, it's people like with no jumper passing him because he didn't shoot a lot of threes. But he healed on him. Exactly. Hey, wait, time out. Damn, Judge, you made me feel. But what? What? Let me finish. But on this interview, like I said, I remember Alex asking Alex to do more content. So, is this something you you think you can do? Like a maybe like a podcast type setup, or more where more vocal? Are you something y'all can do? Um, I actually. This is my this is my brand. It's called Ben Lit. Ben Lit. Um, I always like to say I Ben Lit. So you know my name Liddy Mike, but I was Liddy before I was Liddy Mike. So I Ben Lit. Uh, I'm getting ready to start up a little podcast, and I'm just gonna do like. On no, hey man, don't don't no, disrespect yourself little. with a little. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> <on my podcast. laughs> right. Don't do that shit. Right. I don't I'm like when ready. people do that shit. But oh, y'all be, y'all be going to that little party and shit, <laughs> and you know, like I ain't gonna like that's a California thing. No, yeah, like girls say that shit. Thing. No, no, no. Black people. I mean, it's like a California thing. But oh, you're going to that little thing. Oh, you got your little thing. That's how girls like. Oh, you got your little sweater on and shit. You feel me? Like, no, no, no. I got my sweater on. You know, I got my shirt on. Like, you know, like, you know, do your say your thing, man. That arrogant you know, shit. Yeah. Let your nuts yeah. drop, man. You say that arrogant say Cali shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, that's some Cali shit though, for real. I Cali swear to God, it's Cali. No one else says that. Go outside. No one else says little. I it's just only. Keep I said it. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Cali people be saying that shit. You feel me? Hey, but wait, time out. Wait, hold on. I don't want to. Go ahead. Hey, do y'all do the like the red uh, balloon with like with the girls and the guys and stuff? The uh, fuck uh, is that? You talking about the balloon popping, right? They yeah, bended that. So it's like a matchmaker. Yeah, like they do the It's a trend that's I, going on. Like, yeah. Oh, I did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we did it. We did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They did it almost did two years like ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They was on to some. Yeah, that's they what I'm was saying. on to some. No, see, see what I'm saying? Y'all was on to some. I wanted to get back to when JJ said like y'all was in middle school when Instagram came out. Probably. What was that like? I mean, I know. Did Instagram come out same time as Snapchat? It was like 2011. Yeah, they, were, they were like it was before. Because Instagram, was seven, like 2011. 2011. Snapchat came out. Wait, what? What were you? You was in seventh grade, 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 grade when Snapchat came out? Yeah, I was in six. Oh my god. <laughs> that was 14. That was 2014. <laughs> okay, well, shit. Y'all was in elementary when uh. <laughs> So y'all for sure, I was they y'all for sure IG like, babies, y'all. Nah, I didn't get to touch IG. Too. I'm just yeah, saying, like y'all. Didn't, but keep the yeah. whole band. I didn't. I didn't get an Instagram till like 20, 2017 or twenty eighteen. Yeah, yeah, I didn't use it. I, I was really on Snapchat. Was that like high school type years? Yeah, like yeah. end of high school, and then I didn't really start using it until COVID. I had a MySpace. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had like I'm four years deep. I'm four years deep. Probably yeah, yeah, yeah. four or five years deep on IG. I ain't like a MySpace for sure. Yeah. MySpace. I was on MySpace bad. <laughs> My little MySpace. I was on MySpace bad. I had to use Y'all didn't do Facebook. Y'all had MySpace. I, I, did, I, I did. Look, yeah, I did Facebook like 2013. Yeah, I was on Facebook MySpace. I, I think I started MySpace. Like, what year did y'all graduate high school? 18. 18. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But I mean, I was a I was a tech savvy kid, so I had everything. I had. Kick, I had Uvu, Skype, I was on everything. What's yeah. Kick? Kick is some shit, man. Like, some shit. All right, yeah, I ain't want to get off the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it was plenty of them. It was the one where you could send like a voice message. I forgot yeah. what so that was called. Let me ask you something. Did y'all have sidekicks? I had a sidekick. You had a sidekick? I had a sidekick. I did not have a sidekick. I don't I even know what that is. It was like 2011. Yeah, I had a sidekick. <laughs> he said he oh, don't know what a sidekick yeah. is. What is a sidekick? Sidekick like was phone. the phones where you could slide it up. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I had one of those, but it was a it was a BlackBerry. 
Nah, no, Blackberry is no, just the one. Blackberry is a Psychic bird. You Psychic slid it up. Shit's no, like Blackberry, you could it started like this and you turn it and I had the keypad on the back. I remember my shit. You had to upgrade it up. I think, I think as time went on, Blackberry kind of like mm-hmm. it started yeah. catch up. Yeah, yeah but it's not a sidekick though. It's a Blackberry. Yeah, yeah. Blackberry, it's a Blackberry. Sidekick, sidekick was the yeah. very sidekick. first one no, where Blackberry you could start t- texting like, without yeah, without, without on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. But that shit, sidekick yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, man! I stole my girlfriend's. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stole my girlfriend's. I might be worth something. No, I'm talking about I stole it like a long time ago. Oh, like, no reason. Yeah. Hey, like, so let me she, let me She told me she was going to buy me one. She never did. And I was like, fuck it. Like, bitch, you keep playing? All right, never mind. Now go buy you one. <laughs> let me ask you yeah. this. Do you guys... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you guys feel like y'all get a good amount of uh, like the older crowd too? Like them? The yeah. The parties? Yeah. So like, do y'all... y'all like him. Y'all do a good... I feel like y'all do a good job of, of uh, getting y'all crowd. Yeah. Like um, I feel like mm-hmm. that that instance was a very very strategic move that we did to garner to like your guys' age and then our people our age and younger. <laughs> so y'all, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you said two generations. Right, y'all right. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, shit, but we some generations up. I'm, 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 I'm I might be like, two. You know, JJ is like I might be three. Y'all parent, no disrespect. <laughs> Like, dude, JJ's on the Jay, bro, you look young, bro. You know? JJ's a vampire. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, right. JJ's 41. Let, let my man answer his question. <laughs> but let my man answer his question. Essentially, yeah, you know, because I think the way we kind of start out is first, um, kind of like when we DJ and how we kind of base our like DJ stuff, there's like a really big business side to it, too. So, Super like, big. when Marcus was doing his uh, Bobby's, them Tuesday nights, it's like, <laughs> We just started going and just being party goers. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, we asked him, hey, can we DJ here? Mm. And then we started DJing. Then the crowd started hearing more of us. And you're hearing the Liddy tunes, DJ Mike, the little sound effects. So yeah. now it's like that crowd, because he caters to his age. Right, right. right so we're sure. the ones DJing and also playing the music that they like to hear. So now, exactly. who's the DJ? Now yeah. you're going to meet me. Same thing with Shout Tim. out to Marcus, man. Shout out to Marcus, too. Yeah, you know, Marcus, Marcus opened a lot of doors. Same mm-hmm. with... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. I know we do. We all do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, it's a uh, thing. Same thing with Tim. You know, Tim caters to, you know, a certain yeah. Tim. age group as well. Tim Lowe. Oh, shout out to Tim Lowe. Yeah, the we Sunday Funday. Funday. Yeah, shout out to Tim Lowe. so much. I yeah, you know, like once you start inserting yourself in those places and you do it often, then... You have no choice but to kind of know who exactly. we are. So yeah. y'all forcing it down their throat. For yeah, sure. forcing down your throat. So now yeah. we have the flexibility to oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna say that shit. Stop it! My I knew name. somebody was gonna say that shit. I was gonna let it go, but <laughs> you know, stop but, it! My but liver. now <laughs> we have the flexibility to do some far age group. And if that older age group don't want to go, we, you know, can still do to that younger crowd. And if we do right. an older event, like we have this Saturday at the Rosé, that older crowd is going to come because it's 21 plus. It's a chiller vibe, you know. So, right. you know. Right. Yeah. You know, we, we, we've been able to corner. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-huh. Y'all done the rolls. Mm-hmm. Y'all done the lock-in. Yeah. yeah. Y'all done uh, in tower. Right. Uh, uh, I'm seeing y'all. Y'all done do the rooftop. Yeah. The parties that y'all do, uh, y'all just had Haiti Baby here. Twice. 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 Yeah. yeah. Two different Encore venues. Switch. Yeah. Encore switch. And the and the things before that, like the Encore party. Oh, yeah. Encore. The Encore. Yeah, yeah. Like, we did. You know, know there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, probably like. Euphoria. <laughs> Euphoria. Oh, yeah. Euphoria. Euphoria. Yeah. Yeah. What's next for y'all, bro? Like, do y'all do backyard parties too and shit? And I see, I see, I seen you do a venue too. It was a, a really nice one. I want to say I, I seen it last. Some week. upscale shit. Yeah. In SAC? In SAC? Oh, I was in SAC. Yeah, I DJ the mm. the Bobby Valentino. Yeah, I think I did. It was yeah, a yeah, Bobby yeah. Valentino it was, concert. It was, it was like a nice little set. Yeah, 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 not a little, but it was a nice. See what I mean? Yeah. I told you that shit. Yeah, uh-huh. I, it was a nice set. I was like, oh, these, these we boys waiting on that working. Afro beat stuff. Oh, oh it's, it's coming. I, I did a little taste tester at Encore once, so I wanted to see, you know, how many people would actually and, like, really and come you to that. could get it somewhere. Damn, I'm not saying this about the people at Encore. I don't think the people at Encore is the issue. Uh-huh. They are. They are. You mean the employees? We ain't fucking with Encore. The yeah. ownership? I, I'm just saying that area. The we ain't fucking with Encore, period. Now, I, listen, Encore never did nothing to me. I'm not saying this. Well, the, that's you. The people. I'm you, just, it's four I'm against just, one over here, nigga. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we ain't, don't bring up Encore. All right, so look, let me just say this. Stop it, my <laughs> nigga. My, my, I, I'm saying this, y'all. Hey, y'all want to do, do it somewhere 
nicer um, area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bro, I, I would definitely come to an Afrobeats thing, bro. I, I, yeah. I, oh, yeah, for I, sure. I, I, I At like, the Rose. Oh, huh? At the Rose. Man, yeah. let, let me just tell you this. Oh, go ahead. We I got, I got a, a, a whole vision set up. Mm-hmm. Afro beats at at, uh, at home court. That's a nice little area. How I don't think the, uh, I don't think they mess with the urban crowd up there. No more. When yeah, was the last I, time you seen something there urban? Damn. Uh, Honestly, you're uh, home to home a lot court of is don't. chill. Is, chill oh, suite yeah, used chill, to be there. They told the chill yeah, suite they couldn't chill come back. Is not there no more, and I like that. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's it's super hard to. That's a know, nice spot though. To cater, accommodate our crowd to a new location. It's well, super yeah. super hard. It, 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 yeah. Parking, all type a of stuff. lot of the, you know, we gotta like have a relationship with the venue owner first before right. even trying to introduce an event. Yeah. It, won't, it won't even work. Just trying and to then pay. think about how hard it is when niggas actually act niggerish. Like, right, you know, yeah. that's even the worst. That's part. The only, we are, man, we are man, we are we are worst enemies. We are our worst enemies. So you you want to hear a funny story? Have you, did you ever go to that like beach event? It was hosted by uh, the oh. Celebs Club. That was one of the Where? Best. That's one of So the this best was like movies. off of Bryant. It? it was called oh. the Beach Club. Just no. literally like Oh a place. yeah, out there yeah. like going towards the Table Mountain? Yeah, yeah, Table yeah, Mountain. Yeah, I remember yeah, y'all was doing that, that right? Wow. Yeah, wow. I, I DJed it, right? So it was super, super cool. So, you know, we reached back out to the owner. This is before we kind of knew how to get into spots, you know. So I right. called him and I'm like, hey, like we want to throw an event. I told him I was going to Fresno State at the time. So I'm like, hey, we want to do an event. It's for it's a Fresno State thing. You know, I try to sound really professional. Right, right. For so sure. he's asking more questions. And I'm as soon as I said BSU, Black Student Union, <laughs> oh, why did you say that? Nah. You cannot have your event. Mm. The like, moment. The moment. Like, <laughs> I can just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a comedian, so I'm just visualizing you having that conversation. <laughs> yeah. And he probably just like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah, me and BS. <laughs> yeah, like, mm-hmm. Cause you can only, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, if he's not, he's either gonna do it or he's not gonna do it, but you can't. Yeah. Fake it, because imagine me right. saying so, like, then, oh, "This is no, for a white frat." Yeah, 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 then you start seeing hella yeah, black people. Yeah. Then like, then the event gets canceled. You never hey, want to yeah. do that. So I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. When we do the uh, domino tournament, and it, it's cool, we haven't had no fights or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, one of the guys that let let us uh, do it there, he always just comes in right when an argument happens. Mm. Nah, and it's just kind of like, yeah. But you know, like we're it, loud people, and you know, kind of like know, passionate people, so it kind of scares other yeah, people. It's it's not like but yeah, the thing scary. is, like I said, we never had no fight. No one has ever. It, it gets a little loud. It get yeah. a lot of loud. But it's competitive. But it's that's competitive. Why. But it's just one of those things where it's just like they, they're yeah. not used to that. Their upbringing don't yeah. don't yeah, let them feel like, comfortable yeah. in them situations. So. Like, but what's crazy is they they watch USC and all that shit. They know like man. No, what I'm saying is it's just like. You just know? like it's just kind of more of the time. It's just like time, time bro. Y'all ain't argued all fucking day. I ain't gonna lie. It's the girls that's more rowdier than the guys now. I ain't gonna lie. That when that music switch, that that music change, oh, yeah. that gorilla, that fucking oh. Cardi. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I ain't been. It's girls that's doing this shit more than guys now. Bingo. Seriously, because we kind of know, like Fresno. You know, I know y'all know. Yeah. They kind of things cut off in the territory. Like this side yeah. goes here, this side goes here. You right. know, not to go here. Right so on. pretty much the guys that's arguing is the friends, and that kind of gets. But the females, like they be turned, dog. Right. When soon as that nigga, I mean, soon as she say, that's why my friend throwing your nigga. They look at each other and start pointing, and they start the shit. And, I, and they, it happened at one of the events at that place that we don't talk about. Soon as they play that party, <laughs> soon as that place, soon as Cardi B said that, aha, that's why my f on your. Yeah. They look at each other, start pointing, and that's what starts everything. So, I, I mean, the girls is really the ones that's turned up, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Lot, I'm telling you, of... it's the girls that's really turned. That's what I'm saying. Y'all can have these little fucking pit bulls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. These girls nowadays, man, these little entitled heifers. The girl I'm going to say that for something else, but her. boy, they just, yeah. whoo. You know, I'm going to just say so this. Black people are different. Oh, yeah, everybody sorry. different. Bro. I think, no, 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 I think no, no, it's no, no, a California no. thing too. Speaking no, of California, it ain't. I think it's just Fresno, bro. I think we, it's maybe just Fresno. This shit happens yeah, in the Bay too. Like, yeah, it, it is Fresno because we've we've been in other markets. Like we've been in SAC, LA. We've yeah. gone to Houston. We've gone to Miami. Like we've seen sections, sections. Like we've seen the culture and the people. Like we every time we go, bro, we're always analyzing shit and seeing how what we can do back different in Fresno. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. You know, when we go to places, bro. Not to cut y'all. But I'm just agreeing with you saying. Yeah. But one thing I said too is, I don't hit y'all and be like, man, can I get in free or something like that? If I mean, if I see that, you know, like I'll be like, hey, right. you know, can I give y'all something? 
But it's like, bro, we go everywhere else, and like you said, y'all go to Miami and shit like that, y'all know what to expect already. Mm -hmm. Nothing less than 2004 section. Come on. But Fresno, when we come here, it's like we don't spend no money. We want free to everything. Y'all do this shit at Habiti. Y'all look at them crazy to ask them for $20. Okay. Nigga, if you ain't got $20 to come to the hood, just keep your ass at home. Yeah, we yeah. Why that go that sit too. in the parking lot? They say that too. That's the um, that yeah. shit is crazy yeah. to me. Crazy. What am I sitting in a parking lot for if I'm going inside of a place? That don't make no sense to drive way out to see their knees to go sit in a fucking parking lot. That don't make no sense for me to go like, way to the roads just go sit in the parking lot and talk about it's too much. It's $10. $20, y'all not charge, and then y'all even got free before 10. Oh, God. <laughs> How much more do you want? Yeah, yeah. I'm making it affordable for y'all. Y'all doing half off on drinks. Y'all doing this. Y'all doing uh, shit shots if we want to. Then I, 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 I don't understand it. Yeah. It's no reason to act a fucking fool when we're trying to accommodate y'all on every single thing. If you, if you look at our events compared to like other promoters, we, we, we do the cheapest Man, shit. compared Everything to any other like free. promoter or someone bringing an artist. At 20. Yeah, they be starting at 20, 25. Like, y'all, 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 when y'all start 10? We like, might, yeah, we might even start did, like five. We just like, did Haiti Baby for five dollars. We did, we, did, yeah, we, started five, we did like 50 tickets for does five dollars. Does that work out for y'all? Does that work out for y'all? <laughs> I heard this motherfucker. <laughs> It was a girl in the mall, and she was on the phone talking about, damn, how much is the ticket? You didn't even tell me them pre-sale tickets was how much? It started at five, bro. What the fuck? I'm telling you. Y'all sell a lot of them? Yeah, 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 they, they, they always sell out yeah. quick. At the end of the day, that I is also... the fuck they do. That's also, like, you know, a little promotion move as well. Yeah. But really, though, if you understand how many people will, like, won't buy a ticket because it was at five, and now it's at ten, it's like, bro... Oh I don't want to go anymore. Listen, I mean, I, I trust me, you won't get no complaints from us. I but feel it is so kind of totally crazy different that. about our individual now because yeah. she, yeah. Like, and depending on the artist, bro, our, our tickets don't really be too expensive. So. Bro, I know it's like twenty five dollars. I think it's the max. I didn't I see. This nigga for. did not do that. But for we can $5. even go. But then it can even go deeper to why that that problem is. It's like, uh, you know, our people out here. Like when we, you go to that, uh, what's it called? On income level for our people, bro, it's, it's super low. I know, but it's you just know? like, well, I'm not going to complain about something, bro. And, right. And, and, and this is, I know they probably going to get mad at me, but I don't give a fuck. That was just like my homeboy. They was talking about, oh, bro, why is Jalen Green doing a, uh, why he ain't doing a free fucking basketball thing? I'm like, bro, it's $200. That's their price. If you don't have, you don't have to go to it. Just no, don't, go, no, to no, it. don't go to it. You get what I mean? That's yeah. just like my man's right here. If he got a certain price, I'm not going to try to talk him down. That's his price. Yeah. I'm not about to step here and go back and forth with you when you already have the shit posted. Right. And then I'm coming to you and be like, oh, man, just like, me. No, man, that's my price. Yeah. I'm not trying to negotiate shit. Yeah. Either you got the money or you don't, man. That, and that's, what, you know, that's the thing with Fresno and this shit. And this shit's really kind of getting old, man. Like, yeah. oh, man, can we get a deal? Ain't no fucking deals, man. This is the deal. We, we, we went to Houston. <laughs> we went to Houston before we even touched the club. We spent like sixty dollars just to Easy. park. Easy. Uh, you go to LA, you playing 30, 40, 50 Come bucks, on. 100 bucks. Hey, Come on, it's like sixty dollars just for niggas. Hey, now that y'all say this, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, bro. In Fresno, we just kind of spoiled because we don't have to worry about. We ain't gotta parking. play for free parking. We don't gotta worry about parking. Bro. Your cars don't well, get broken into yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie. Seriously, if you go like drinks we, are cheaper. <laughs> we surrounded by a bigger market yeah. like in Oakland bro. and in LA. I'm not even gonna lie to you. When you go to different markets, bro, like Fresno is one of the last like. Dance markets with a dance floor, like every other market you go to, you go to section. Club, LA, section. It's section it's bad. Yeah. If you ain't got a section in the club, you don't go out. You don't go out. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. If you, if you, I if seen you that last time I was in Hollywood. And that actually makes sense, though. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that makes that's, perfect sense. That makes yeah, perfect sense. Shit. That you, weeds out the. You know, I, I the, the weak links. What's that club we got went to in L.A. It, I think it's y'all shutting down though. But it was a nice club. We went with for what's name Lene birthday. I wasn't there. Playhouse. 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 I thought you went. Uh, I, don't, I wasn't there. JJ. Playhouse. JJ was the first that night. shit was section here, section here, section, section here. Way. Like, it ain't too much walk around. You just no around you just flex by extra section. Yeah. How many bottles you get when you go to Miami, y'all yeah. know. How many oh, bottles you get definitely. when you go to Tulum in Mexico. How many bottles you get. Yeah. Fresno here, I be saying, I didn't even know what the fuck Tito's was. <laughs> 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 we went to, uh, what's that, Vixen? I, didn't, I was like, what the fuck is that? I didn't test that. That bottle was twenty one dollars. Oh, what's even worse, bro? What's even worse though? Too, in the store, like, niggas not even yeah. at, the yeah. at these clubs, like it, it's not even just 
buy one section, like yeah. buy one bottle. Like I hear you could buy a bottle for your section and you mm. chilling in that section the whole night. Yeah. You go to these other markets, you buy one bottle, you out of that mug. Yeah, yeah, you take the bottle. You out by 1130. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my God. They, they buy you the out. Gonna, are you, can you buy another bottle? That happened to you us can't. in Miami. Now, I was, I was okay, like, well, you're going to have to buy another serious? bottle or. <laughs> I, bro, I swear. We was in Miami. Like, literally, she was like, yeah, if you don't buy another bottle, like, we're going to have to have you guys leave. We thought, right? And I'm like, we got to buy another bottle. Can you imagine if that happened at Lux? What would happen? Oh, yeah, fights. No, they tearing this motherfucker up. up. Hands and feet. <laughs> Does that inspire y'all as party promoters and, D- and DJs? I mean, not in this Not in Fresno. I'm just saying market, to go I mean, further. <laughs> them oh. Like, once you've seen more, you like, damn. Yeah. Like. And we get that question a lot, but the, uh, the look and the funness of it, yeah, but at least for the business side of it, it's like, there's no point to yeah. I feel I like we have the market kind of here, humbly. Y'all got the market that. corner, so yeah, y'all y'all so, comfortable. Like, like it's cool. We're not gonna go and try to compete with sixty other but, you but, know people. But out I'm there. trying to think though. You gotta think. I in I probably see on our snap. I'm like, damn, these niggas go to Vegas and spend that money. But how can we get that to spend them here? Sure. Like, do you be like, man, won't y'all let them smoke in the club? Won't y'all just let them do something? That's a big thing. That's a big thing. Farmers ain't with that. Who could inside of clubs? I think. So that legal, but cool. California got to change their change their rules. It's not. Bro, it's, it's Fresno. No, it's, it's Fresno, bro. Like the Fresno, the, the, the farmers. You can smoke in L. A. When we in Fresno, you can yeah. smoke in the Bay. You can smoke L. A. You can, you can smoke. smoke anywhere you want to smoke. Man, Fresno. I'm telling you, bro. For the most part. I was like, even the hookah lounge, they let you smoke some weed. Yeah. Fresno, man, they got a chokehold yeah, on us, bro. Yeah, for Fresno's law, Farmers. Fresno does not like the nightlife industry. Like, they, they, they Farmers. Just, bro, like, you can't even, like, if you were to open up a club, you couldn't even get a liquor license. Yeah, yeah, you can't even get a liquor license no more. Only way to get a liquor license is Have to go transfer. get an old club. Yeah. You got to go... Like, like how Switch, yeah. the owner just sold Switch, yeah. Yeah. you would have to buy a Switch and take over his liquor license. Like, mm-hmm. You can't go nowhere. Or you, you got to own a restaurant, then you got to get yeah. a liquor license yeah. from your restaurant, yeah, I know then go way. open go up a club. club. Like, you yeah. can't. And then even now, it's like, if you want to open up a club, bro, like, the qualifications, yeah. just to be, you got to be, like, this certain miles from a, a, a hospital, mm-hmm. a church, right. and what was the other thing? You got to be, uh, you can't be that close to a school as well. Like, so, it's we, so bad. We had an opportunity to get a hookah lounge here in right. Fresno. Uh-huh. And at the time, I told well, he, the dude came to me along with a mill, and I was like, "Damn, bro, that's a lot of money." But we wouldn't really profit nothing with hookah because uh-huh. the alcohol. If we right. can't get alcohol, alcohol in here, no yeah. point. and then a the dude, we talked to the uh, uh, elder dude who had, who actually owned that hookah lounge before they were selling it. He was like, "Bro, you bring alcohol, you bring problems." Yeah, he was just like, "Bro, you ain't gonna better control them people." You know, he said, "Drunk people. That, that's who makes the party. You know, fun and bad." Yeah. And I was thinking, like, damn, that's a lot of responsibility. You know, like, one night we're not there, you sleep, you're going to be able to sleep. You get yes. what I mean? Because Jen, we like to have fun. You like to drink, and you know. Mm-hmm. But believe it or not, they going to get that alcohol in there one way or another. One way or another. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Somebody sneaking it in. If a girl not putting it in her purse. I seen a nigga sa- Sunday put the bottle underneath her titty. Come on. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. That, that's every week. Hey, that's so- every club. When I, I see that, best. I said, and I'm not talking like a little, I'm talking about the Don Julio. That's what I'm saying. So how do you, like, I, said, I, I just don't understand why we can't, and I wouldn't even mind if y'all be like, look, we're doing sections tonight, 350, you can get, I ain't going to say Don Julio, because I don't know, y'all probably charging like $400 for a Don Julio bottle, 450. Nope. What y'all charge for that? Really good you want for 350. 350? Okay. So 350 Don Julio. That's okay. Just say we go all over there. What's that? 75, 75, 75. Just say if it's all, I'll roll, I'll roll with five. So 75, 75. But we ain't just buying one bottle. But I'm just saying though, y'all go to Vegas. Y'all go everywhere else. And I know it sounds like I'm pretty much, but I be thinking like, why the fuck we can't do that and have fun in Fresno? It's, it's farmer, well, because, like farmer, y'all go farmer somewhere market. else and spend money, and farmer it takes market. money to travel there. You're <laughs> yeah, paying for room that, that, here. You stay here. It's farming, it's, it's farmers. Farmer market, bro. No, it's no, the no. mentality, bro. It's, no, it's, no, it's no, a stronghold. No, listen, listen, it's a stronghold. No, no, listen, listen, what I'm saying. It's from the roots, when bro. They, when from the soil. Yeah. Here, when I'm staying here, is if I'm having something at the rose. I, all right, let's block this off. Let's really make this a section. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Let's really make this a section. They do the bottles. They do the thing and shit like that. Let's just say. Vixen, because Vixen to me is probably the number one club in Fresno. Overall, far as like you can get a section and it's bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, it, and, it cater, and it caters to everyone, yeah. really. They play sorry ass music there, but terrible music. Yeah, terrible music. It, it, Jesus Christmas. I know I ain't gonna have no friends good. after this. Farmers. But, right. but but as a business, I respect the hell out of I respect it. I respect it. They understand yeah. they don't want to play too much nigga music because then too much niggas will come, come and then they'll be really tearing up shit. Come on. They'll play Mac Dre because it's the mutual. Urban. But like urban I'm versus farmers. Like, yeah, 
Listen, uh, that that DJ, and we cool with the DJ. No disrespect to him because I think he on the top. I tried to pay him four dollars to play ESCG. He was like, "Bro, I can't do can't. it." Bro, so bro tell I, went the story to, I went to bro. Yeah, I went to Vince tell the bro. story. I did gonna say. Please he put tell. On, he put on T Grizzly, right? The DJ's playing terrible music. Yeah, I got it in my I phone. I went up there. I'm like, hey, bro, play play some T Grizzly. Like this mm-hmm. when uh, first day out was hot. Yeah, it was like three. I ain't going back to Vixen in three years, bro. Mm-hmm. First day out, bro. He drops a song. Ain't what they ain't this what they've been waiting for. You ready? Oh no, that's not it. Uh, dreams and nightmares. Bro. Dreams and nightmares. Yeah. It's called dreams and nightmares, bro. All the black people start coming to the yeah. floor. I used to pray for times yeah. like this. Yeah. I see a dude like I don't know if it was the owner or who it was coming yeah. from this side. Turn it off. You yeah, turn it you like bro off. screaming. Bro, we're all looking at me like, why would he turn it off? Why turn it off? Turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. Nigga, because you bro. see you niggers. You don't want to see no black mosh pit. Nigga, hard scratch. Ew. Put on some other shit. I can't remember what song you played. It was, it was, it was like some... That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That shit. It's I'm the, sitting there like... I instantly want to leave. Yeah. Hey. I said, yeah, bro. I, it was, that was my last day at Vixen. I ain't went back. But, Zoe, let me just tell you this. Go ahead. And I know that... I know I'm... We guilty of this. You say, oh, we go, people go spend money in Vegas and L.A. and all of that. Mm-hmm. That's because those places give you that vibe. Right. That is true. That is a, that just, is a big thing. Just, just hit me out. my next point. The experience. If they, if they told you right now, oh, yeah, the Rose is going to give you Tito's and Don Julio for $1,000 in a section, you still probably wouldn't go. Because at the Rose, are you going to be sitting on tables? I mean, are you going to be sitting on couches and be not gonna do that. Is, but realistically, bro, it's Vegas, bro. It's Vegas. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. This isn't this is, that's this is, that, 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 the atmosphere. This isn't there, this isn't yeah, rocket science. Doesn't like, doesn't give you that atmosphere. Like, right. like, like, like realistically, like we can't. We we first off to fix any issue, we have to stop thinking present. When people be like, man, in L.A., it's L.A., brother. Yeah, it's L. That's. Like, but I mean, LA is an international city. Man, I, 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 we I, would, I wouldn't say that though, because you can go to a little club here in California in a small city. and them niggas nice. are paying that, but it all has to go down. At least when you get down to nightlife, is that experience? Like what? Give me, give me an example. Give me an example. Where we was that? Oh, Modesto the... was cracking. But that's that cracking. shit be boy. Like, like if you go to another club, like if but I'm it ain't say, LA, I'm say Houston, the first thing you see right there is the bottle girls. The bottle girls are the best Bad. looking women in the club. Bad. Yeah. Bad. It's a motherfucker from Fresno down there in Houston at camp. She bad than a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, you talking about Naima. I don't know if she had Ema or I Ema, but uh, that but one, you, you she feel like it's, it's all about the experience. No disrespect to nobody, Houston, but I'm just giving her props to make sure she's making Fresno look good. Even, uh, even like the, these clubs, is like if I'm going to a club, like the bottle girl should not be yeah, ugly. You think but, I should not see not one bad Think of it this way. Girl. Fresno, our, uh, some of our best will leave Fresno to, <laughs> to go to Houston. Yeah. 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 The bad the bad one in Houston ain't like, you know what? I'm going to move to Fresno. I'm gonna move to Fresno. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like nah, it's, it's clearly like it's real. we have to set real expectations for Fresno. Yeah. Houston, LA, Vegas, yeah, Fresno Miami. Got away with, I mean, uh, Houston got away. With. Don't mention no cities in comparison to Fresno. Mm. Modesto Fresno. compares. Yeah. Even though we're bigger, that's about where we're at. Modesto. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we have four or five places we can go to before we think of Fresno. We go to Sac. Yeah. You go to the Bay, sure. you can go to LA, yeah. you go to San Diego, mm-hmm. the coast somewhere. San Jose. San, San Jose. San Francisco. This, Francisco. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fresno's like barely borderline top 10. If you're trying to have 10. fun in, in California, borderline I would, top 10. I would, I would, put, I would, I would put top 10. I wouldn't even put it in. Yeah. In California? California. Bro, California. It's hard. Would top 10. You it's wouldn't so even hard. put it top. It, exactly. So. You have to be realistic. They crack harder than us? We're not going to learn how to. We're not gonna learn how to ice ski in Fresno. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Bro, you gotta Fresno, go to where the snow is at. Tough, we man. an hour away or so. Yeah, Fresno. Nah, Fresno's it's tough. tough. It's tough. Like, I, God for I mean, you know, like when Bree come down here or when Mike B come down and they, oh, what y'all doing? So look, Going to I'm the hood, BT. They gotta pick a good weekend. Y'all gotta, you gotta, you gotta, pick you gotta pick a good weekend. Really you gotta pick a good weekend. It's gotta be. It's gotta be in that end of no. It's gotta be in that end of October, middle of December area, right in there somewhere. Damn, but it's hard. But man. it's hard. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong. We, we appreciate can... the city, though, man. Yeah, nonetheless, no, 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 I love the city, man. Nonetheless, I, I as much as we be out, nonetheless, yeah, like, yeah, no, we we complaining yeah, like we be in the house. Funded and under like no, we no, be no. out spending money. So sometimes you can you could you could go out on a Sunday and have the time of your life. Ah, no, the yeah, Sunday okay. fun day days. Yeah, yeah. It, it be so crazy because 
I feel like all the fresh this that you said it earlier. We really small and the black community so small. Yep. Bro, look, this I can just tell you how Sundays go in Fresno. You either go to the rooftop, you go to Sunday Fun Day. After that, our cockies. After that, you go to Tower. Okay, yeah. after Tower, okay, we're going to Habiti. Yeah. After that, shit. Well, I know we going to the casino, but after that, then it's like shit. You better find you a shorty and go home. Yeah, yeah. Right. shit. You should have probably went home two locations ago. <laughs> <laughs> shit, really. But shit, niggas, nah, we, we'll, 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 we'll fuck around me. We'll fuck around me. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, we'll fuck around me. And everyone already knows. And then somebody's like, damn, that's all we got in front of them. But shit, on a good day, that shit be. Man, that shit be looking like, man, one time we all was, all of us went to Sunday Fun Day. Everybody went straight to the beach for like three hours, bro. I swear, Fresno had the time of it. Like, everybody in Fresno was there. That's a rare sight. It's just like we had no drama, no problem. Everybody cool, drinking, chilling. Even the Super Bowl. Yeah. Everybody oh, was at the I Rose. Had yeah. a little altercation there. And then we went to oh, BT. To BT. Oh, and my God. That's what I'm saying. Like, friends will be like, that's what everybody, all my friends be like, nigga, like, damn, I want to come out there and fuck with y'all. I'm like, look. You just, you gotta this catch this one good, day. Right? Just, you gotta hold on. It just be looking for it. Look good. It be looking like, it'd be like this because you get in your side, but you yeah. don't see that there's two people sitting over there on the couch and, you know, yeah. like, you know, it'd just be our side having fun. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. But, but yeah. that's, and that's another reason why, too, like, with us, we can't do shit every week. Like, that. yeah, yeah. The yeah. Sunday thing was that's something, something we were doing, we're doing every week that work because everyone kind of goes out on Sunday, but like mm. our events, like, we can never just end up doing a club event every week. Like, it was really so. sick, though. Like, for work. real, for real, too. It's like, nigga, we not going to be here forever. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we are a short-term fix, nigga. Like, yeah. bro, <laughs> it'd be God, like that, too. It'd like, be like I'm, that. Bro, I'm getting into my like, career. He getting into his career. Yeah. Like, right, right, right. right, right. right bro, it's going to start getting to one year Real scarce. Three months. Yeah, real scarce. Me? So yeah. before we go, I'm going to tell a story. Uh, before the story, too, I'm going to wrap it up like this. It's the urbans versus the farmers, and the farmers going to win every time in Fresno, every time. Yeah. Too much bread, too much power. Let's let's not lower our expectations for, for Fresno, but let's set real expectations for Fresno. Stop comparing us to L.A. Cut it out. Stop it. Vegas, cut it out. Let's oh, be yeah. realistic. Yeah, don't. We make Two party places. promoters should have been up and down the state said, we not even a top 10 location. Damn. We not even top ten. That's that crazy. Hurt. But that I'm gonna tell a story. Uh, Fresno program, and I, I said I'm gonna talk about your peace and how peaceful this man, Lady Mike, is. Uh-huh. I'm gonna end the pod on this story. I refereed the Fresno program season two. I see Liddy Mike there. Still at this time, I kind of didn't really know you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this is the party promoter dude, the dancing dude. Okay, he who? That's crazy. So I'm in there. <laughs> oh, he he go to the cup. I'm not calling no fouls, none. I mean, it wasn't my call. This man goes to the he he plays like Jimmy Butler. Oh, for real? He plays like Jimmy. He's like a tough. He's like a hard nosed player, bro. Yeah, I like I, I thought he was gonna be out there shooting crossover step backs, but he he go to the hole. Okay. But anyway, he he drives to the hole from the left wing, jump stop. He gets forearm to the nose to the mouth area, mm. finishes the layup. It's not my call. I see it though. I see the call, but it's the it's the lead official's call on the baseline. But mm. I'm I'm kind of caught, caught caught in watching the game. I'm like, let me see what he got. Mm. I see the foul. I could call it. I could reach down there. It was definitely y'all keep hurting this nigga. Bro, it, bro. Yeah, it was a it was a clear foul. Like he got smacked. Like anything up top, you have to call. That's safety. Yeah. You can't pass on anything up top. Yeah. He gets smacked. He's bleeding. He comes to me like, oh, ref, I'm the... like he didn't spaz out or nothing. Which in a that's kind of like a um. I mean, it's adults playing in that league. Right. College players, um, ex pros, et cetera, et cetera. Right. With no no coaching really, so they were a little unruly at times. Mm. So he litter bleeding. <laughs> Bleeding. It's guys who's crying for nothing. Like you can't. Like bullshit. Like I'm making like routine calls, and oh, that's not that's not right. And he literally leaking his life forces, and he just like calm up. Like oh ref, come on man. Like like hella cool and calm about. I'm like damn, that's crazy. Like nah, nah. just peace, just peace, bro. And we gonna end it there. Shout out to my boy Liddy Mike. It's over. It's over. over. We on the clock. We on the clock. We ending it there, my man. It's done. Did you call the foul? I didn't call the foul. (laughs) Shout out to my new host, Liddy Mike. You know, DJ Alex. And then shout out to our guests for coming. (laughs) Westside JJ. Trill. It's a fucking movie. And we out, man. Would you handle that, please? Like and subscribe. It's called the Goat Farm Podcast now. The Goat Farm Podcast. We're a lot easier to find. Ten times easier to find. That's the Goat Farm Podcast. Spelled how it's supposed to be spelled. I'm Westside JJ here with the lookalikes. Shout out Liddy Tunes and we gone. Yeah.
yeah. then you better yeah. go out there and do some real shit. And then do you need to check her.